Just in over 200 people showed up at Teague Park tonight to show support for two families that are hurting. In a spot where Kim Rayson and Shanda Martin stood just five days ago, since a ceremony mourning their loss. Last Saturday was the startup of Kim Rayson's Stomp the Violence movement, the violence she became a victim to Sunday morning. Shanda Martin's sister Sharon Jones says it has been a long week. But we're actually drawing strength from her, even though she's not here, her spirit is. According to the Longview Police Department, early Sunday, Isaiah Roberts shot Rayson and Martin at Martin's home on Thelma Street. Roberts then led police on a high-speed chase all the way into Tyler. Angela Lilly has picked up the anti-violence banner and organized this prayer rally. And they really were trying to do something to stop the violence, and they got murdered the next morning. Lilly is Shanda Martin's cousin and says when she saw the crime scene, she was brought to her knees. With that being said, God say, I, you got to move, and you got to move now. Lily is carrying the movement that Kim Rayson started. Martin's sister Sharon Jones says she knew Teague Park would be filled with friends of these two women. The type of life that she lived, the person that she was, I'm not surprised that it's all of these people out here. Memorial services for Shanda Martin have been set up for 1 o'clock Saturday at St. Paul's Baptist Church. Services for Kim Rayson are still pending. Reporting in the Longview Newsroom, I'm Kevin Boyce, CBS 19 News.